Well, it's the start of June. You wouldn't think it to see the weather. It is really cold today. It's just rained around my folks' place. And we're going to do a quick greenhouse tour. Look at everything that's growing. In this little plastic greenhouse here, we have got a watermelon. As that fattens up, we'll take this off and give it a bit more space to ramble. Potatoes. A mixture of flowers, dahlia, as that petunias. Into the greenhouse now. Let's have a look at what we've got. Basil in the corner, a couple of aubergines, peppers, peppers, another aubergine, another pepper, cacti, a couple of fuchsias it seems, don't know what that is, aubergine, pepper. On the floor, tomato, a couple of more peppers. In the corner here, new for this year, a uh, sweet potato slip. <clears throat> At the end here, we've got another uh, watermelon. And just next to it, a cucumber. And as you can see, this guy is just starting to use these bits of string to pull itself up. And then three tomatoes that I think are slightly stressed by the warmer temperatures we have had, although you wouldn't think it today. So that's how it looks at the moment. All kind of just about ready to start. Let's go up the garden. This rose, I don't know what variety it is, but it's got a lovely scent to it. I find that most roses tend to smell of Turkish delight. That one doesn't. It smells lovely. Right, up into this kind of green little polytunnel jobby up here. So, cucumber, aubergine. We have got three tomato plants just here, a fourth there, a bunch of cacti, some lettuce and then there and to the right we've got two more watermelon plants and we're hoping this year we uh, yeah, we'll get a few watermelons on the vine. Three um, potato slips, again sweet potato slips, in a big tub full of compost with this black polythene on top to try and keep the heat in. And my dad also is watering this with lukewarm water just to ma maintain the heat because these guys do like it warm. And then finally, cutting through here, This little bed, got some lettuce, chives, beetroot. I think that's a row of carrots that's just been sown. We've got some uh, turnips, I think they are. A gap and then some more turnips at the back. Onions, another row of lettuce. Early potatoes and I don't know, maybe second early or mains. His fig tree that he bought last year, which was that big, now look at it. And then these cabbages are showstoppers. There doesn't seem to be a single blemish on them. No bite mark, nothing. So these look really good. Plum tree. And then finally, this section here. 
possibly some form of beans, more lettuce, a very patchy row of weeds and carrots, onions, row of parsnips and broad beans and some parsley which has gone to seed. And then a marrow plant just there and some runner beans and rhubarb right that's it for this one we will come back later on in the season and catch up with everything that will be growing on in the greenhouse that bed and that plastic jobby over there all right let's see what the next video clip brings second part of the greenhouse catch-up we're into September now and everything is kind of coming to an end I guess Sweet potato scrambled along the floor here. Tomatoes are doing okay. I don't know if you guys, um, if your tomato plants suffered from this kind of leaf curl this year, but they did in here. Aubergines. Cacti at the back there. Uh, some, I think these are jalapenos. Doing really well. My dad's drying the onions out there. More tomatoes there. Looking good. <sighs> An eggplant. Aubergine, just, I don't know, some deformed example there. More jalapenos. Aubergine. Basil wilting probably under the heat. And oh look at this. This is new. Ginger. Growing a ginger root stem. Those of you that watch my video on how to propagate fuchsia cuttings. Well these are the three that I planted up. In these little pots and as you can see if you compare it to the video that I did they've set they've taken and if we get a bit of a mild Indian summer we may get a few flowers on those but it's one for you guys next season take those cuttings I'd say around about uh, early late May early June and you will recreate those jobbies there this is the prize specimen in the greenhouse this year another watermelon he grew on last year and that was a great success this year the plant hasn't been as vigorous for some reason don't know why but it has pushed out one watermelon at least and then this anemic looking thing here this climber at the back here cucumber plant looks like there's a bit of fire in that one there so that's it that's the state of play in the greenhouse this year. Everything has flourished and like I said in some cases it's coming to an end especially for the cucumber plant I guess and these tomatoes still producing. Alright let's just go outside and have a look at these 
beetroot before I sign off. It's gone to seed, I think. Well, let me actually, while I'm up here, let me just show you some of his onions, which are really, really good. This row especially, and this specimen here. Look at him. That's pretty cool. He's not bad as well, but this one is definitely king of the onions. All right. That's it. Finishing off with his runner beans. Okay, what do I normally say now? Thank you for joining, joining me if you have. Remember to hit the like button. If you like the video, do share it around. But most importantly of all, do comment down in the comment section and we can chat about vegetables. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that always helps. All right, until the next one, bye for now.